but I'll show you today is the best AI enhanced ticketing system ever built in Glide. So you see here that I'm on my dashboard and I'm a support agent, right? And then I can see all my tickets, but it all starts when a user submits a ticket here. So I'll enter my email here. Let's do it quickly uh, at Gmail. I can share a video here and I can also upload files, images, screenshots, or whatever I want. And then here I can explain my issue. So my app isn't working on my Palm Pilot. And then I'll just submit this. Obviously, since I'm a public user, we're prompting those users to sign in to view all of their tickets info. But at the moment, I won't do that. So this is the public facing part and I'll go to my previous screen to the app here. And you can see that this ticket just showed up here. So I'll click on the ticket here. And you can see that we have here the title, a timestamp, ticket ID, uh, and the email of the user. In this case, this is the file that I shared and this is the video, the YouTube video that I shared. So by default, this ticket is pending. It has been opened um, by an agent, right? So the first thing I'll do here is I click it open and then you see that we change here the icon. And then if I go back to the Kanban board, you can see that we moved it over here to the open. So you can see here every single ticket that is new that hasn't been even opened by the team um, or marked open. And then here is like an actual open ticket. The next thing I'll do is I'll assign these to myself. So we can have multiple agents on the team and you can assign the app to anyone that you want to. So let's say that you have uh, questions about sales and questions about technical support. So you can assign these to specific people in the team. So I assign myself. Um, and then the other pretty cool thing, just like any traditional ticketing slash support system, is that we can have both an internal chat and a chat with the end user, right? So here I can either notify someone and something pretty cool here is that um, we're generating an email here. So you can see that I sent, we're sending an email to right now or to admin users in the app, telling them that someone submitted a ticket, right? So they click open app and then they get to the screen. Um, so here I can chat internally. And if I choose someone here, in this case, it's just Fernando myself, uh, I'll send them an email with any comments I have. So uh, we don't support Palm Pilots, right? So this is just an internal interface that I'm using to chat with everyone else in my company. But then I can also here on the left sidebar um, communicate by with a client. And there are a couple of ways I can do this. I can use the AI response button based on the prompt of who we are, what our company does. AI can generate a draft answer or I can just answer whatever I want. The left sidebar, I can respond to the client. So I can tell them uh, which Palm Pilot model are you on? Then when I click send, this is sending an email to the end user with the comments that, with, the, with the chat that I just sent them and they get an email with a button and then they can open again this uh, chat. Another feature that we have here is that I can click this button, the AI response button, and instead, instead of having to write something, AI can help me draft an answer for that user. So based on the prompt that we have on the app, um, we're generating uh, a comment that I can always modify and change um, in order to send it to my client. So basically, if I go back to home, you can see all of our tickets here on our Kanban board that I can filter. We're also using AI to categorize the tickets. So you can see that we have admin IT production, uh, which are these little tags here. So AI is categorizing the different tickets in order to view uh, the tickets by that category. Another thing that we have here is down here we have my tickets. So remember that on probably this one, I the assignee is Jesus, so myself. So here, when we have dozens or hundreds of tickets, here you can see every single ticket and filter by category. But down here, you can see the tickets that you're assigned to. So either if you assign yourself or someone else did, then here you'll have that filtered view of all of your tickets. Eventually, let's say that uh, at the end, the client agrees to whatever or 
etc. And then at the end, you'll just mark this as closed. And then we move this ticket over to the closed uh, column in our Kanban board. And another feature that we have in this app is the analytics dashboard. So here you can see the number of total tickets, the number of unassigned tickets, the, the roll up or count of how many tickets on each stage. Uh, you can see who has been assigned on each tickets, um, the average response time. So you can see throughout your company, throughout the different users that are using the app, who's taking the most amount of time to answer to the end client, to the user um, asking for support. Um, and then something that I haven't showed you yet is if we preview this as a client, as a client, they will have a view of their tickets. So let's try. So in this case, we're looking at this as a client. And then here we can see that the client can also look at the status of the ticket, either if it's pending, open or closed. And then when they click on the ticket, they'll see the context, but they don't see the internal conversation that we're having at the company. So the client only sees a part of the conversation, the things that they're supposed to look at. But if I go back and preview this ticket as an admin, then obviously I have the full context in my uh, here on my right sidebar uh, based on whatever conversation we're having internally about this ticket. Um, so hope you like this. This is one of the many things that we are doing here at Low Code. Um, if you want to build a custom ticketing AI enhanced app for your business, let us know. We can build this quickly and cheaply for you. Uh, in less than a month, you can have it up and running. So that's it for today. Take care. Bye.